Hello, welcome to another range engine tutorial. Uh, I don't know if you are tired of downloading characters that you haven't made yourself. Um, I know everybody wants to make characters of their own and not have to download characters. So this isn't really a tutorial on how to make a character. It's a tutorial on how to make a head for a character, but, um, I found one really interesting way to do it, and this is base. that's basically what this video is going to be about, um, so just try to follow along uh as best you can uh so without further ado oh also I'll probably um make more tutorials on this subject uh, I don't know if they'll be immediately after this one probably not but eventually I will um, make more. So first thing we do is um, go into edit mode and uh, Let's see, okay, there's my cursor. Uh, first thing you want to do is control R. And that brings up the loop cut and slide. And you want to basically put one right in the middle there. Um... So basically what you're doing is cutting out the face on um, the the facial features that uh whoops okay I hit control P control R Um, so on there, uh, then control control R. So I don't have this down perfectly. I'll show you the way that I used to make faces. 
um, by myself, uh, b before I saw this tutorial, um, let's see, and I s still prefer to do it my way, okay, let's see, control, R, You want that to be roughly in the middle. Wait, you know what? And let's see. Then, no, uh, okay, let's see, mesh, You want to go to bevel. Actually, you know what? I should just link the tutorial. Because I'm probably going to mess this up. Anyway, uh, I will, let's see, control R. And, uh, control R. Let's see, control. Um, we're all gonna know those hotkeys pretty well by the time this video is over. Um, and I know there's supposed to be more cuts in... more places I just can't remember them all right right the second so control R Um, 
So, basically that is the way the tutorial did it, but, so like, This would be the right eye. Uh, And then you would go I and the way this guy did it was a little bit more efficient. Oh yeah, he had the mirror modifier on. So like whatever you did on one side it would do on the others. So, E for extrude. No. Then, of course, the nose. If you want the nose or if you want your character to have a nose it's gonna be right here and I again and I'm sure I missed a few cuts for the mouth so, control R. And then. You can, um, the reason I'm not just control clicking it is because, um, if I did that, it would select a bunch of them so you can make him uh, happy tiki guy or you could make him a sad tiki guy. 
Um, I think... He did, like, mesh displacement. Uh... Let's see. Mesh sequence. This might not be the right modifier or text group. So let's see. Let's try surface deform. I don't think that's it. Um, I know that the guy did some beveling in there. I don't know if, well, I know he didn't bevel the whole mesh. And I know that he used some kind of constraint in there. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I watched a whole bunch of tutorials on this. Maybe it's all running together. Um, so, let's see, mesh, That's not it. Although that does look pretty cool. Delta. Uh... 
um, let's see, some kind of constraint. I don't know. Um, so the way the guy did it was way better than this. But, um, okay, now for the way I would do it. And... The way I would do it might take a little bit longer, so let's just go file new dang it file new. So the way I would do it is we go into and he did this in uh I forget whether it was orthographic or perspective mode. So, T for tool, and another one that I haven't shown you is N for node, and I'll show you how that one works another time, and you'll probably... You could probably figure it out. So, go subdivide. And, um, 
see subdivide. So basically, at this point, you would make the eyes look somewhat rounded. Subdivide. <laughs> he looks like he's got pink eye. So... Oh, by the way, I'm going control and right click. So this would be the nose. And E for extrude. And then I would go Go control and drag so it doesn't select all of those.
and control drag. You go Damn it Excuse my French And Come over here to Learn and think you go here to the plus. Um. And you hit new or make it whatever color you want it to be. Um, go assign, um, you can change the nose any way you want, you can change the eyes any way you want, um, uh, however, the eyes are kind of tricky, um, if you want to, uh, you'll figure it out. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to color the eyes, And the tutorial that I watched, I'll link in the description. I'll try anyway. So, just for squeaks and giggles, I'll... Um, I know he looks like an albino so far. And not a very good looking one. So, a sign. Uh, let's see. You can go I. And then... Add another 
another color. Let's say we want this one to be green. And we go assign Um, it doesn't look green to me, but, and then, Let's go subdivide. For, this is going to be for the nostrils. I don't know why. And you can add whatever kind of detail that you want. Um, and there's no reason that you guys can't do this on a sphere. Although there's a whole lot more vertices on a sphere. Um, and that should be it for this video. Um, good night, good morning, whatever time of day it is in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you in the next video.